Peter, we're most of the way through day two of uh, Expo 2021. It's so nice for everybody to get together finally after doing that ridiculous Zoom call thing. And we're done, we're, we're done we're, with all that. Oh, God, I hope so. I really do. But we're here to see the cool stuff. Tell me about the cool stuff. The, yeah, the cool stuff. So this is the Spirit. This is a coaxial drone. Uh, it's basically got two rotors instead of four, and it flies further, faster, longer, and carries more than a conventional quadcopter. It's really designed for all-weather operations in mission-critical applications. If you can't pick and choose where and when you need to fly, you need to be able to fly, right? If you're an airline, you can't choose to fly only on the good days. You need to be able to fly every day. That's true with mission-critical drones, too. We focus on public safety, industrial, and defense, and these are the operators that really can't pick and choose when and where they fly. They have a mission-critical situation they have to respond to, whether it's search and rescue or some other industrial situation. Sometimes you just can't pick and choose when you fly. You mentioned all-weather capability, or I would assume near all-weather capability, mm -hmm. hurricanes notwithstanding. Hurricanes not yeah. yeah. How do you achieve this, and why are you different from most of the other competitors out there? Sure. So when you look at the form factor, right, this is a cylinder, and a cylinder is a really simple geometric shape, right? It's round. It's easy to seal against the environment with O-rings and simple things like that without adding a lot of weight. So it's easier to make it waterproof and dustproof and things like that. And actually, as you increase its speed, it actually tilts into the wind, and that helps it, too, from a drag perspective. The speed is up to 65. We've actually taken them up over 80 miles an hour. We have customers that are actually out there using this in the real world today. There are lots of, lots of examples that we've heard over the years where they said, if only we would have had something we could fly in the rain. We couldn't fly in the rain before, and now we can. What kind of sensor packages are available? So we focus entirely on the aircraft, right? And the sensor packages are changing all the time. But right now we offer everything from real simple cameras all the way up through LiDAR and even infrared and IR. We bring the airframe and say, listen, the system that you're putting together, we're going to give you the best airframe possible for that larger solution that you need to actually integrate. So if you have a specific requirement with respect to the speed or the size or the lifting capability, we can provide that aircraft. Does something like this scale up? Absolutely. It scales up and down. What's the future for Spirit? So the Spirit is just one product. The Santa system is really all about the platform, right? We're actually making, like I said, we have larger vehicles. We've made smaller ones, and our product line will be growing in the next 12 months. So, like I said, stay tuned. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com.